every time your outer loop runs, every time a slice of that execution happens, you are going to do the entirety of your inner loop. Now, I know it's kind of hard to understand without visualizing it, so I made the slide to basically step through the process of executing a nested for loop. So let's actually get started here. So we have this outer loop, which has a variable i, and th this i is going to be initialized to zero. So we initialize i to zero, then we are going to begin this loop, and it's going to immediately begin the inner loop, which is going to be a uh, for uh, j loop. So it's going to have a variable j, j is going to be initialized to zero. Then we are going to print out j, which is going to be zero the first time we run through this. Then it's going to increment j by one, because uh, in this uh, for loop at the end, we see j is uh, going to be incre incremented by one at the end. If, if, I hope that you understand how for loops work, so I'm not really going to explain that process. So then we go back up and we are going to do the comparison between j and 2. So if j is less than 2, it's fine because j is equal to 1. We are going to print j, then we're going to increment j by 1 again. Then we are going to go back up here. We're going to check is j less than 2. Obviously j is equal to 2 now, so it's not less than 2. So we are going to go to the end of our outer loop. When we do that, we are increasing i by 1. Then we go back up to our outer loop, and we are going to check is i less than 2. Because it is, we are going to step back into um, our execution, and we are going to execute the inner loop. And this time, we're going to initialize j to 0 again. Because we initialize the j to 0, the first time we run through this, it's going to be equal to 0. Then we increment j by 1, and then we check if j is less than 2 again, and then we print j, then we increment j by 1, then we go back up and we check is j less than 2. Well, j is not less than 2, j is equal to 2, and because of that, we are going to go to the end of our outer loop, and we are going to increment i by 1. Now is i less than 2? No, i is equal to 2 now, and because of that, both loops have finished. Once both loops have finished, that is the end of our nested loop.